And yeah, of course, the Garmo has many issues. Uh, <laughs> not just one. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope you're doing good. I apologize. I wanted to come sooner, but the reason is because um, I was uh, uh, taking time to get uh, some more details, and uh, I was actually uh, in the system. We're logging in, uh, delivered before the time. So last time we talked, we talked about uh, a possibility of uh, us having a link and we're able to log in the system and go live. That has been achieved. I am actually, I have uh, a copy open on my uh, machine here and it is uh, better than I thought. So a couple of things are way better today than uh, before. Let me update you. The first thing, and I want to say the overall betterment, and then we're going to say uh, talk about the mechanical uh, betterment. So overall, today, not only we're on the right track, we're in a much better position strategically than we were five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months ago. Today, we are in the perfect position that I wanted to be years ago. And that position is to have the right talent to help us reach our goal sooner, effectively, more efficient, and uh, in the safest possible way. That was the dilemma previously. As of now, the best part is we have the talent. And I want to focus and underline the word talent better than experience. Somebody could have 30 years experience of just flipping tacos or burger, whatever, right? Doesn't impress me. You're doing the same thing. You're, you're, uncreative, you're not creative for 30 years, you should have reached a new level in the taco industry. Uh, but to have the right caliber, the character, the honesty, the integrity, the talent, creativity, that is a rare combination. People that get it quickly. Uh, seamless progress right on time in fact a couple of uh, occasions before time ahead of time that's how i give this level of confidence and this is why i'm really uh looking forward to what's coming the future and share that with you so the level of talent that we have is something really better than my dream, really. So I, I really want you to rest assured we've got the talent to take us where we want to go much faster than we thought before. Now things are making sense, all right? So the other thing is not only the overall position we're in a in 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 a perfect spot today than the last year or so. Not only that, but also because we have this new setup, we're confident that we're able to go to a higher ground than we previously thought we could achieve in on passive. That gives us the motivation, it gives us the uh, excitement that yes, now whatever we throw on at the table, then we're able to make it happen seamlessly. So it's really like a dream come true. That's that's the bottom line. In conclusion, not just failure is not an option. 
I can tell you, we got it. We absolutely got it. And that's it. There's no mystery. There's not a question like, are we able to recover, to give back the data, this, this, that, okay? That's done. As of today, I can confirm with you, we have recovered the business. We're not going away. We're coming back, but not just back. All right. We're coming much stronger with the right people, with the right caliber, with the right uh, integrity, with the right talent again. So all in all, we're, I think, better direction, better position, and aiming to enormous success that lies ahead. Now, I'm saying this not because of what I heard or the promise, which previously I got ahead of myself, okay? It's a confession. Based on what I heard, I take it as like people mean what they say. Apparently not all the time. So what happened is now I'm seeing it and... In fact, the, the conversation previous to this, right ahead of this, it was, do you realize the effort that was done with the minimal resources and the time? We were just like really exchanging how speechless we are. It's like hard to believe. That give us, like, seeing the screen, seeing the accomplishment, the quality, the seamless uh, aspect of it. So that's what, uh, what I wanted to share with you. Okay. So uh, what's next? That's, that's what matters, right? Uh, as of tomorrow, so what I told you last week, it's all done, right on time. What I told you the previous weeks, I will address it now uh, or maybe a couple of weeks ago. So is it a matter that we are coming back? You're going to have the login to go to check your account live again, 100%, just a matter of days, okay? So which scenario? I said the scenario that is right around the corner, okay? So this is not something i'm told this is something i'm seeing i'm sure you understand there has been a change in my uh, uh method you know to to communicate with you I, i'm not going to open my mouth until i see the facts not going to do it again so that's that's what happened so what i told you about the different scenarios those are done you know so it doesn't matter it's not three months it's not you know uh, in a questionable matter of like, are we able to recover everything or no? No, it's absolutely uh, in hand. We got it. That's not a question anymore. Not a question which scenario. The scenario now just, you know, the coming days. Okay? Don't take that because tomorrow, this is what's next. Tomorrow, we're going to have this X time. Estimate it. I might not necessarily change it, like share it with you for obvious reasons. We want to get closer to the accomplishment point, to the finish line, so that we can be more accurate. All right? Uh, or we could decide to give you a range. That's A, time line. B, which is more important. Is Digarmo okay? Uh, joking aside now, is he okay? Like, uh, he's just having... Shorty. 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 JJ's okay. having issues. Oh, God. Okay. I uh, hope everything will be okay. Um, so, uh, we'll see uh, if we can connect with him. Now... Uh, as she is on here, I'm sure he's listening. Okay. Yeah, we're we're uh, 
going to try to connect with him because of B. Uh, B, uh, we're going to have to see the time that we go to the next phase of unpassive. That's another uh, formula we are uh, figuring out. I, I hope things will be fine, brother. Don't worry, okay? We're with you. Can send you an army. Uh, but we're going to decide how long or based on how long would it take us to go to the next phase of unpassive. If you're paying attention, you know what that means, okay? If it's manageable and and then I will kind of like explain to you what the next phase is of unpassive. For the first time today, I will share with you. If it's a reasonable time frame, then we're not going to do much in unpassive as is. Take it as a view period, as a, a bridge, a funnel to go to the next phase, but internally and professionally. And formally, okay, because we have to communicate through the back office and your subscription, whether it's free, paid, unpaid, doesn't matter. Founder, affiliate, customer. So if that time, it, again, reasonable, acceptable, we'll assess that, then we move, uh, we start working on giving you more details about the next phase and timelines and all of that, right? So you can expect it. It's really a new chapter, all right? A better chapter. The best chapter, if you wish. Now, when we figure out tomorrow if it's going to be, say, more than a couple of months, all right, which is okay, then we can discuss a final trial with Unpassive as is, all right, like a, like a wrap-up. So we basically have those two scenarios. So we are going to know more and you know, all those details tomorrow. And if we feel it's reasonable, the next time we meet, we can talk to you about the timeline and which scenario we're going to go for. And expect within that time frame, you would be able to uh, at least go to the login point. All right, then we will communicate through the back office. So what's required from you at this point? A couple of things. Uh, mainly rest assured, rest assured that we are not going away. We're coming back and we're making a historical comeback. And things are going to be more visible to you. So you're going to see it. We're not going to talk about it. Right. And then I like, like your input to share the buzz and to share the excitement and to express how good is what we have. I already know that. Done. But I want you to see it with your, it, it's, it's literally, it's going to make you speechless. So, uh, so rest assured. And second thing is, please, if you believe in this concept and this journey, stick around stay close the coming days are crucial as we transition to a new height okay so if you care about this stay close okay uh and make sure you uh pay attention to every update every chance we get to meet third thing is potentially next week or within the next days, okay? Not like 
I don't want to say a month, but let's say less than half a month. All right. Within the next days, uh, let's say there's 24. Let's say by the first week of October. Okay. Yes. It is reasonable to expect some critical updates about the current situation of Ampasso. And the last thing I want to mention right now is to give you a little bit of clarification about the next phase of Ampasso. What do we mean the next phase of Ampasso? So the evolution started as the following. Number one, we had an Excel sheet. That's where we were preparing the business. So when we have a business, basically a website or a back office, we feed it there, all right, manual. Then our business grew faster than we thought, much bigger than we thought. So we created uh, GoFounders. That was uh, December 2018. And that was not in the benefits or the promises of O founders now, Go founders uh, previously. It was not um, one of the requirements. We just decided to uh, make it happen because we decided to go to a higher level of the products, uh, do it all in one platform. So it's going to take longer and uh, we're we're gonna do it all in house because of that, and there's a high demand on the founders' position. We did not want to shut down that ability and not to be consumed energy wise uh, and efforts and and time just by catering to the founders and you know the 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 volume that's coming in uh, at records we've never seen before truly in any company. And and the the globality of, of what we had is really uh, the definition of a global business. We touched every corner of the planet, literally. So then we wanted to automate the process so people would have a link. We don't need to be involved in in um, in, in the transaction of somebody joining or offering them. We had. Uh, videos, pages to share, and people would just come and register. And then we had uh, uh, webinars regularly, all of that presenting the business while we were building, staffing, opening offices, licensing, all of that. So we can, now we decided to do it in-house. And then, as you know, we started expanding the scope of, uh, scope of our products instead of like integrating something third party, uh, party or um, like uh, outsource or something, we did it in-house. Now we, uh, we've we attracted more people that they were uh, impressed about the concept. Uh, so our foundership grew more and later we uh, changed it to O Founders. So it goes with the theme and after the name became known, uh, which is on passive. So Excel sheet, no employees, um, no company, technically, to where we had a business name, platform, employees, engineers, everything is being done in-house, lots of challenges, uh, inaccuracy about the timeline. Uh, people probably were not to the level, uh, I'm talking about, technologically not aligning with the vision. So in their eyes, I don't know if it's just telling me the timelines or that's what they think because uh, I'm, I'm aiming for something super giant and they're probably doing something as like a tiny, tiny uh, application. Uh, so there was a gap, okay, between the vision and the uh, timeline and the accomplishment but make no mistake there was a lot of work done 
and then when we became this big and we've expanded internationally and became known uh, in many countries, uh, things, you know, took a different height, multiple applications, different departments, all of that. And with that, it was a, a chaotic situation was created, which is uh, getting off track, you know, with volume, we've hired the wrong people, et cetera, all of that. But we realized that was not exactly what we've envisioned. Time-wise, quality, nor, um, uh, the, the you know, the, the overall accomplishment. So earlier this year, you probably know, a couple of months ago, it was a major breakdown, okay? That forced us to question everything, even from the beginning, and evaluate. So we knew that it's not gonna work to continue on the same track, on the same track or on the same, uh, say, uh, uh, you know, pace or momentum, it's not going to work, okay? Different departments were just hitting in the wrong direction or the opposite direction and all of that, whether intentional or unintentional, just the way they thought it is. So all in all, uh, when that happened, we were forced to stop literally stop the ship and, and, and reflect which direction we want to move on to. Now, I, I, I want to remind you, even from the early days of Unpassive, we said this is only one phase. There are more to come. And we started with Unpassive as the foundation of to where we want to build other avenues of life. When we decided we're going to stop, reflect, evaluate, and see how we're going to proceed and move ahead, of course, not in a million year it would occur to us, like, let's give up or quit. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how do we move ahead, which way. All right? So fortunately, this very conversation I've had it with a different perspective with other qualified experts. How do you move ahead? This is what happened. This is our journey. This is what happened. This is where we are. And this is my vision where we want to go. That story was so inspiring to attract enough people, enough talent, as I said previously, to take us to where we wanna go. Selectively, not like random staffing, all of that. Uh, so we're just about done or wrapping up the phase of Unpassive as you know it. Now, not only we're going on the right track, with the right pace, with the right talent, and, and all of that and character, more, most importantly. But we're going to the next level, next upper level of Unpassive. And it's definitely exciting to share all those uh, updates with you as we progress. So that's why you really need to stay close in the coming days as we unveil all those uh, uh, developments and uh, not so much about the past, but we're gonna focus on what's coming. It's all perfect, in my opinion. It's all good. It couldn't be any better. In my, in my humble estimate, it's a lot better than we thought. Personally, I see it because I, I think there's a force that took us 
to to have this plummet, if you wish, in the last few months or so, that will make us reevaluate everything. So we make sure failure is not an option. We make no mistake. And this time, we've got to crush it. We've got to nail it. And I, I think now I already have the evidence that we're capable of doing that. So I'm going to do what Red Redfern does. OK, I'm going to recap in a more coherent way. And then he will do it in a more professional way. But I'm just going to try to give you the extract of what I said. Uh, we are coming back very soon to reopen on passive as it is, at least to see your business is intact, everything where it's supposed to be. That's one thing. By tomorrow, we will know if we're going to internally. I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to share this with you, possibly. But, but at least we will know if it's going to be a, pre, a brief uh, transition between what we have now to the next phase of Unpassive. Or we kind of like make a wrap-up closure to the current phase of Unpassive, sharing more details with you and giving you more light on what's coming ahead on the next chapter. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So the evolution is going up. We secured the recovery. Now we're going up. That's all I wanted to say for now. And I'm sorry for whatever is happening at the DeGarmo's home, but um, we, will, uh, we will get through this, okay, no matter what. Thank you, brother. Okay. Uh, so that's been said. I want to see uh, sometime today, maybe we will uh, circle back with uh, with our leaders to, uh, I'm talking about yourself. If it's possible today, we can try that, okay? So we can start brainstorming about which is more preferred scenario. Reopen, move directly to the next phase or reopen, do the preparation and the wrap up of what we have and move on to the next. All right. I hope I made it uh, understandable.